What's up everyone, Dr. Jacob Wilson here. The question today is does fruit make you fat? And actually this is a question I get a lot and I've actually gotten it for probably, I've heard this question, the first time I heard this question was probably 15 years ago, right? So before I answer that question for you and like some people are like, why would fruit make you fat? And some people are like, yeah, you know, fruit makes you fat. Before I answer that question for you, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure if you like this content, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. If, if, if you're not new to the channel, but you want to support it, share this with your friends and smack that, that um, bell. So, so listen, let me take you in the back a little bit to the background. Fruit contains something called fructose, okay? And basically, you guys heard of high fructose corn syrup when you drink a lot of soda pop. It has a lot of high fructose corn syrup. When you eat candy bars, it has a lot of high fructose corn syrup. So it sweetens a lot of things. Well, original studies that were done to see if fructose was bad for you, remember fructose is what's in fruit, were done in rats, rodent models. And what they do is they gave rats a bunch of fructose. Fructose is super sweet, you know how sweet it is. So rats were eating fructose, fruit sugar. And you wanna know what happened? They got fat, they got insulin resistant, they died young, and people read this stuff and were like, man, not only does fruit make you fat, it makes you die. Fast forward, look at human studies. Well, you look at relationship studies, people who eat high fructose corn syrup to high amounts get fat. They don't live as long. They have impaired, they get type two diabetes. Well, that must mean that fruit makes you fat and doesn't make you live as long, right? Is that case closed? Well, no, it's not. And here's the reason why, because when we look in our environment, high fructose corn syrup is something refined. It's not what we find in nature. In a fruit, a fruit's mainly water. It's got a lot of fiber, and then it has fructose in small amounts, okay? Well, guess what? What studies have shown is that small amounts of fructose can actually improve things like insulin sensitivity. You know, like four, four to eight grams, maybe 10 grams of fructose, actually been shown to improve insulin sensitivity. And if you look at a whole fruit like berries, it has fibers, has a small amount of fructose, and has a lot of micronutrients, all of which improve health and keep you full so you're eating less calories because they're low in calorie density. And so it keeps you full, it's low in calorie density, it has high fiber and improves insulin sensitivity. If anything, it's gonna make you lose fat. So don't compare refined high amount, I'm chugging a soda that has 40 grams of high fructose corn syrup versus a fruit that has fiber and, and six to eight grams of fructose and a lot of water and makes me full. They're totally different. So studies show that actually helps. Now, if we're trying to select out, well, hey, you know what, Jacob, what's the best way to consume? What are the best fruits to eat? If I were to give you that advice, the best ones that studies show have the highest amount of micronutrients, um, the lowest amount of carbs, the highest amount of fiber are things like berries, blueberries, blackberries, mixed berries, strawberries. I highly recommend those. Probably after that, things like apples. Now the ones that can be good for you, but are higher in sugar content, are probably gonna be things like bananas, um, uh, you know, and my favorite things, which is like grapes, especially frozen grapes. But those you wanna be um, uh, basically more cautious with, you know, you don't want to walk away from, oh, Dr. Wilson says that fruits are going to make me lose fat, so I'm going to go make a shake with three bananas. That's not what I'm saying, okay? Berries, uh, strawberries, mixed berries, yeah, um, but just be more cautious with things like uh, bananas and, and grapes. You can have them, but in more moderation. So, guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you next time.